Hi, Rich by Ellen Villa. This is an asymmetrical wig. I just took it out the box, haven't even touched it. And I love the color. It's called Pearl Blonde Rooted. You can see how beautifully it's rooted at the top. And the color is 101, 14, and 24. Where you're getting your 1424, which is kind of like a little uh, medium to light brown, a little bit of honey thrown in. But the kicker is the 101. And so when she adds that, it looks so beautiful and so perfectly natural. Like you've got, you know, your bio hair and you haven't colored it or anything, colored it. It's a monotop, full across, and the smart lace goes from temple to temple. And that way you get a nice hairline. You can brush it straight back if you want, or you can pull it to the side. One side is shorter than the other. It's an asymmetrical wig. And when I'm going to put it on for you and show you, this part side is six and three-fourths. This side, I measured it. It's about three and three-fourths to four. Then it's four and three-fourths on the crown. So already you're getting the idea. It's longer here, a little bit shorter here. You might be getting that little London poof. And then the nape is uh, 1.5 to 1.3 fourths. So the nape is really short. So you're going to get that shorter look here, longer here, and then cut right in. I wanted to show you in the back because I think this is so important. On wigs that I have done that didn't have it, I've put them in. And there are stays in the back. So when it goes down to the nape, nape you know with those stays here that it's going to go flat against your head. I'm going to try it on for you because I think it's just a beautiful, natural color. What we really expect from Ellen, let me show you what it looks like. As I said, I haven't even tried, I haven't brushed it, I haven't touched it. So let's just see it. I'm at home, I'm getting it. Four, grab my temple tabs, and they're even. One, two, three, four. Pulling them forward so they settle in place. Four fingers here, and then the nape goes right to my occipital bone. You can already tell how pretty it is and we haven't done a thing to it. Let's see what happens. First thing, you know, it goes from like temple to temple. So let's, ah, I know, <laughs> what the heck? That's what you do at home. Then you push and you're gonna push hard and I'm going to count to about 30, 20 to 30, because I want that lace to kind of just meld right into my hair. And then you're going to see how natural it looks. One, two, three, four. Press and then print. Press and print. Now, we're going to take my fingers. I'm going to pull this side out, lift my fingers, and go up along the wig. See with these two fingers? If you do that with every wig you've got, babe, you'll see those little bitty hairs come out. You take the, tip, it, uh, the temple tab. Here, hold it out. Lift your fingers and run up against like the grain. And see all these little bitty hairs coming out? So now when you go, all right, I should have some water here, but I don't. All right, circle, circle. Remember how we're going to start from down here? Circle, circle at the edge, babe. And what you're going to get are those little bitty hairs. Gosh, I haven't brushed this or anything. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Now, I'll tell you, it's very comfortable, but it is um, more lightweight. As you know, I think this is like two something ounces. You can't even feel that it's on. This side, you're six and three fourths. Then you're one and a half to three fourths in the back. And see with the stays, how nicely it stays there. Even when I bend my head, look for those stays. It's really a great thing. 
Then it's shorter here, four and three fourths, so we're getting our little crown. Then you come over to this side. One thing I love about this is this is three and three fourths, like right here, and then this might be four. So you're getting about maybe it looks like about two inches, but it's really like three on three inches difference. But what I love about it is it does cover your ear. However, even if you wanted to do this, I love it slipped back behind your ear as well. Asymmetrical. Six and three-fourths, three and three-fourths. I'm not even going to brush this for you. It's exactly the way it should look. I'm going to show you the back again. Pearl Blonde Rooted. There's the rooting you can see. And it's a 1424, which is kind of like a light to medium blonde. But then they throw in that 101, and that's where you get the glitz, the couture, and the super look. Pearl Blonde Rooted Rich. Have a great day. Bye.